guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this cell phone case and DIY. Today, because of Friends Reunion this year, 2016, I'm just going to be making this Smelly Cat phone case. To paint this case, we need these materials. I'm going to be using acrylic paint in white, black, green, purple, blue, and yellow. And then I'm going to be using this, you know, plastic glass where I mixed my shades in order to make this color, which is custom made. This is the way I stored the leftover paint that I had, some brushes, small ones, big ones, uh, thin ones. Then I'm going to be using some glasses. Here I'm just showing you two options because I did use these two options. One is uh, like a spray and the other one is like you have to apply with that brush. When we're going to be using a sharpie, we're going to be using pencil and eraser. The eraser has to be holiday eraser otherwise it's not gonna work. Just kidding. To start with, I got inspired with this image that I found online but yeah, I'm just going to base myself from that. The color that I'm going to be recreating or just trying to make is the one of the whisk. I love this shade. I'm just going to be mixing a bit of blue, a bit of a green, some white and yellow. And I'm just going to mix it until pretty much I reach the, the color that I'm going for. So yeah, just keep on adding and mixing until you're pretty much done with the color that you want. This is the color that I chose, but again, you can pretty much customize it to your liking. And then I'm just going to grab my phone case, which is pretty much recycled. I use the same uh, phone case and I just remove the paint and start all over again every month. So I'm just going to be doing um, these phone cases every month. Just subscribe if you want more. But yeah, I'm just going to cover the whole thing with this paint. And to let it dry, I'm going to be placing it on top of this acrylic paint bottle just to make sure my phone case doesn't touch the table if you have some leftover acrylic paint though and you want to store it or you want to save it for another project a good tip is just to close it with another uh, plastic glass on the top alrighty once my paint is dry I'm just going to pretty much write what I am saying in that photo using my pencil Pretty much writing the whole thing, smell a cat, and then uh, an attempt to draw the cat. Which cats are pretty hard to draw, I must say. I thought it was going to be easier, for, but it wasn't. And then cat, and what are they feeding you? The good thing about working with pencils is that you can erase them and then try it again if you didn't like how your words came out. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to continue until I'm pretty happy with how it looks. The cat was a bit of a struggle for me. I had to raise it again and then try to draw it again. To be honest, I wasn't really sure of where was I going as far as the colors go. So I started with my uh, thin brush and my cat and just drawing the line. And then I decided to just paint the whole thing in white using another brush, a bigger one. With my, again, small brush, just I'm just going to go ahead over my um, the letters and yeah, just paint over those letters. If you have a white sharpie, uh, use one of those because it's going to be a lifesaver. If I have had one, I would have used it because this took me a while to paint, but it was worth it at the end because I think it looks pretty cool. Then with the cat letters, I decided to switch things a bit and I decided to make them fatter like that. So I'm just going to go with like the edges and then fill the whole thing in. And I just I just went and did the same thing with the Jew as I did with the cat. To make the that I decided to use the back of a pen and I totally missed this part on the like materials list, the one that I showed you at the beginning. But you can use the back of a pencil as well. And then again, I'm just going to go with my thin brush, but in this case, I'm just going to choose my black acrylic paint. And I'm just going to go over, you know, outlining my cat word, the whole thing, and then my you word. When I was working at this point with the black acrylic paint, I couldn't find my Sharpie, but if you have a Sharpie, just go ahead and use it. For my cat, it's going to be pretty much the same, going to outline the whole face of uh, the cat. At this point, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with a cat, because the cat was like the focal point, you know, and I didn't know if I wanted my cat to be white or if I wanted to be some other color. Yeah, I just uh, draw the face, the tiny face, and this is pretty much how it looks like as it is so if you like this just stop right here just cover your phone case with some gloss and you're good to go now because i changed my mind a lot and i just want to see how it looks with purple i just went ahead and painted the face with purple 
It helps that I did use a white base because my purple over my white base is going to pop a lot more. As I wait for that to dry, I'm just going to take my Sharpie and I'm just going to, you know, draw some random music notes that I found online. I'm not real sure if I'm, you know, drawing this music notes correctly. I hope I am. Again, this is just some inspiration just to make it better if you feel like you want to. Then with the cat, I finally found my Sharpie and I just did the outline with the Sharpie, the, the thin part that it has. And believe me, it's a lot better if you do this with a Sharpie. Then I'm just going to finish the cat face with the nose and the whisks. Finally, I decided to add some tiny eyes. Again, missed my dotting tool at the beginning of the materials list, but you can use a bobby print as well. And I do have a tutorial of this one if you want to check it out of this dotting tool DIY. Last but not least, I took my phone case outside and decided to spray it with my gloss spray. And finally, I did a coat of the gloss, the, the tiny gloss that you saw at the beginning, but I didn't record that part. But yeah, this is pretty much how it looks like. Let me know which one you like the most, the one with the white cat or the one with the purple cat. And also let me know which one is your favorite character out of Friends. I love Phoebe. I think she's so real, unique, special, funny, and beautiful. So let me know which one is your favorite uh, character. And also let me know if you like this idea. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and share it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.